Now in this section, we'll talk about creating these online users. In order to create these online users, we need to update the server whenever we have a new uh, online user and keep updating it every several seconds. We already done that in graphical, already seen that when we talked about subscriptions. And to remind you, we talked about this update last scene. So we update our users when the last thing was the timestamp, the, the last timestamp. So what we need to do is basically to integrate that in our client. Let's do so. Let's go to online users wrapper and start by importing with Apollo from React Apollo and by importing JQL from GraphQL tag. Now what we'll do here, we will set our client as props as props client. Also need to bring it constructor, bring it here. We will wrap our online users wrapper with the with Apollo higher order component. So our um, Apollo client will be brought from the context. And now whenever our component did mount, we need to tell our server that the user is online. So I will set an online indicator. as an interval running every 30 seconds and uh, every 30 seconds and uh, calling update last scene function. Now the point will unmount obviously I will call clear interval passing my online indicator. Now what we will do, we will implement this update last scene function. Update last scene will be update last scene mutation. Here I will go to graphical, copy this and paste it inside. We already seen it working, uh, it's working. Now we'll call this.client mutate, pass a mutation, and we'll pass variables. Our variables will be just now variable with new date and we will convert it to ISO string. Let's say it's working. Won't be able to see it here, but what we can do, we can query or subscribe to our online users and we'll get a username. As you can see here, we have two online users working on these to-dos.